Have you ever went out for something or tried to do something and when you got home quietly in your room, you knew that you had that much more that you could have gave, but you didn't want to look ugly in the face because your girlfriend was looking or your boyfriend was looking, you didn't want to frown up like that and look embarrass yourself. So I held back a little bit. Then you know in your heart you did not give everything that you had. And you don't know if nobody else knows. You don't know. Oh man, I could have done a little better than that. I could have tried a little harder. And if I had, I promise you that you would have been satisfied with your efforts. Well, let me tell you what the problem is. All right, let me tell you what the problem is. The problem is everybody wants the prize, but nobody wants to pay the price. Nobody said this was going to be easy. We don't want it to be easy. If it was easy, then everybody would be doing it, right? If it wasn't difficult, then everybody would be doing it. It'd only be, you know, everybody would be an entrepreneur. Everybody would be a billionaire. Everybody would be a successful athlete or, or artist or, or businessman or salesperson or, or scientist. Everybody would be doing it, right? It's not supposed to be easy. You shouldn't want it to be easy. We all want better things, don't we? We all want more friends, more stuff, more money, more security, more travel, more enjoyment. If you do the same thing tomorrow that you did today, you're stuck. Stuck. And it doesn't change. And it grows a little at a time. And you get a taste of success. But it's never fast enough. It never excites you. And when it does, it's a good month, or a good two months, or a good three months. But it doesn't provide a trajectory that creates success. So the first thing I want you to think about today is I want you to wake up tomorrow and do something different. And understand if you do the same damn thing, you're stuck. Just because you did it a certain way yesterday, there's no reason to do it that way today. You can be wrong, you can pick the wrong career, you can pick the wrong job, you can pick the wrong spouse, you can pick the wrong whatever. But you get it right one time, you're set. But if you don't try, and if you don't go out there and try all those different things, you'll never get that one time. You are an extremely powerful force if you decide to be. If you decide to not give up towards a certain goal, and if you have decided between all of your logic and reasoning abilities that this is the goal you should be going after, that this is a feasible thing for you to do, okay? You are so powerful in your ability to do that. I say train your brain hard because if you think a certain way, then so are you. That sums you up. If you think with an I can't do it attitude, guess what? You right, you can't do it. Because that's the way you think. If you think it's impossible for you, it is. It is impossible because you believe in your heart it's impossible. For you, yes, it is impossible. You have set that limitation in your mind. There's always going to be setbacks. There's always going to be things that go wrong. There's always going to be things you don't anticipate. Even when you have every I dotted, every T crossed, something's going to go wrong. What else are you going to do? 
you know, shit happens. And so you have to get back to work and you have to go after it and you have to, to, to make the best of it. And when it does, you, you just have to, to fight through it and grind through it and remember what it is that makes you special, what it is that gives you confidence to do what you do and do more of it. Focus on what you do, become the best at it, put in the time, and eventually great things are gonna start happening. That's the way the world works. There's no getting around it, there's no shortcuts, there's no cutting corners, there's no secret program, there's no way to fast forward the process. It just takes time and you've gotta be patient and you've gotta be aggressively patient during the lag time to make sure you're doing every single thing you can. Any time that you give your best effort that you give everything that you possibly can give there is satisfaction in knowing that I did my absolute best. I did all I could do. There's victory in that. There's satisfaction in that. To get successful, we're gonna have to go out, get creative and think. You're gonna to have to become resourceful. You're gonna to have to get yourself uh, solutions to problems that money can't buy. You put in 120% every time, or you don't put in nothing because, listen to me very closely, today this opportunity you have, it might not be here next year, it might not be here the year after next, it might not be here the year after that. This is the only moment you got, and you better take advantage of this particular moment. You need to do whatever it takes if you're working on opening a business, you need to be working on that 16 hours a day. You want to make that shit successful, then you need to be busting your ass, doing whatever it takes, putting everything into it. Otherwise, your business will fail. 80% of businesses fail. Why? Because people aren't willing to do whatever it takes. As Thomas Edison said, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is to always try one more time. I know there are going to be a million times in your life where you want to give up, where you absolutely ache with the desire to quit, where nothing sits inside of your gut other than the certainty that you are going to fail, that you are not good enough to push forward. But that is to fundamentally misunderstand the nature of a failure. The nature of a failure is not to tell you who you are. The nature of a failure is to tell you a way that didn't work. It's to inform, it's to educate you, it's to test you, it's to be a gut check, to find out if you believe in yourself enough to push forward even when the world seems to be telling you not to. And as Brian Tracy said, attempt the impossible in order to improve your work. Think about that for a second. Attempt the impossible just to get better, to try the things that you know are going to fail, things that the world is going to tell you simply cannot be. But even if it violates the laws of physics, if there's something in that attempt that you're going to learn, you owe it to yourself. You have a fucking moral obligation to try. Because all of the people that will lie in your wake are the people that didn't try simply because they didn't believe that they could do it. You have to be willing to look at the world. You have to be willing to see things that you yourself think are impossible and try, because in that you will stretch yourself. You have to be willing to look inward at the state of your current skill set and say, I'm going to play outside of that. I'm not going to play where it's safe. I'm going to play where it hurts. I'm going to play where I feel clumsy. I'm going to play only in the areas that make me feel stupid, because in that I know that the way that the brain responds is through adaptation. But I have to stress myself. You can't ever lose sight of that. The only way that the human animal adapts is through stress. You have to be willing to break things in order to build something new. So if you want to push the boundaries, if you want to see just how far you can go, if you want to succeed at the highest level, if you want to play on a global scale, you have got to be willing to try the impossible because right now, the things that you need to do are impossible for you. But they won't remain that way forever. And as Aristotle said, pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. 
This doesn't have to be a tale of always being terrified. Everybody, myself included, screaming at you, telling you that you need to go do something great. The part they're leaving out is why the fuck should you care? You should care because it's the greatest joy. You should only listen to this if it's leading you down a path that makes you feel more alive. And that's the point. The point is to get in touch with something that makes you feel great, but not to let yourself starve or be stopped by a fear that you'll fail, by a fear that it can't be done. Have fun. Have the guts to enjoy yourself. Have the guts to go out and attempt something audacious and terrifying, knowing that all along, if you're doing it right, you're going to have a good time. So all of this, going balls out, trying to prove something to yourself, trying to do something amazing, never lose sight that it's to build a better life. Never lose sight of the fact that you're doing it to create the person that you want to be. Never lose sight of the fact that it should be fun.